In previous market sell-offs, there are times in which stocks get hammered down in a particular trading day. To prevent this, trading is halted. Markets reopen after investors have been reassured that everything is okay. That was before. Today it's a different story because computers are making all of the trades and flash crashes happen faster than you can even imagine. The disruption to the market will be felt by many. Just hang on tight and everything will be fine, right? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at computer trading, high frequency trading, computer algorithms, robo advisors, and all of the technology that is now trading everything you see on the markets today. And we have the little minnows chasing the big fish. That's the way this works. The only problem is the herd mentality that has been created by what we are seeing and individuals are simply pawns in this game of chess. I'm going to get into all the details you need to know right away let's begin the first thing I want to get into is robo advisors for those who don't know what this is essentially we're talking about computer programs that have replaced human beings and this is a growing segment which I'll talk about in a second traditionally you would go into your bank and you would say I have some money in some savings I want to invest it so you speak to the individual the financial planner and he's able to get you into some sort of investment based on the goals that you have set you tell them your goals you tell them your risk tolerance you tell them your age age and so on and then they put you into the funds that they believe are right for you this now truthfully doesn't need to be done by a human being simply because you as the person who wants to invest can just click on those buttons that they were asking you the questions in the first place have that happen it goes through directly into your bank and there is no need to intervene with that middleman what they would do is they would have one individual looking after a large quantity of clients simply because they're just there to make sure there's no problems, make sure there's no difficulty and everything else can be automated. The follow up sequences can be automated through emails. If they needed a human being to follow up with them, of course they can do that. But this way you actually reduce the overhead significantly. And if you think into yourself that this is not growing, this is not getting bigger and this is just a small piece of the pie, I assure you the numbers are bigger than most would think. Assets under management in the robo advisor segment amounts to 980,000 million, which if my math is correct, that would be just under $1 trillion and that's 2019's numbers. I have a chart to show you in just a second, but all I wanted to just describe was the fact that this has been growing and it is a fairly significant sum. Most people are not even aware that it exists and already we're talking about big numbers here that people truthfully don't really care about how their investments are being handled as long as they see the value is not going down. If they are seeing that the stock market is rising and their portfolio is doing well, I assure you they're going to do just fine with it until we have a problem computers can be okay as long as the market is going up when the market is going down it's going to be a catastrophe here you can see the assets under management. I just wanted to give you an idea in the chart form showing you again 980,000 million in 2019. And this has grown year over year and is projected to continue to increase. This just gives you all the way to 2023 what they believe it's going to be. I just wanted to show you how important we have all of the different technological advancements, AI, all the robo advisors, the computer trading, high frequency frequency traders, all of this new business that wasn't in existence or was in its infancy in the previous cycles is now much more mature and that is going to meet with a crisis in the future and nobody knows where it's going to lead. Based on the details I will show you today, it isn't very good. 80% of the stock market is now on autopilot, okay? That's how far we have come. Many people don't understand this because they use their different brokerage account, they log in, they buy their seven shares of Amazon, and this allows them to invest on their own terms, but they don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Passive investments control about 60% of the equity assets, while quantitative funds, those relying on trend-following models instead of fundamental research, now account for 20% of 
of the market share. That's according to our friends, our good friends at JP Morgan. Passive funds have attracted $39 billion of inflows so far this year, whereas active funds lost a whopping $90 billion in 2019. The market is moving towards more passive investments. We're looking at different ETFs that track the general stock market because people are not necessarily purchasing individual stocks. They don't know how to do it. They just want to follow the market. I want to put my money in. I want to let it ride. On the way up, this works very well. On the way down, this is a very big problem. Everybody will be headed through the same door all at the same time and the liquidity will drop to nothing. It's no secret that machines are taking up a bigger and bigger share of investing, but the extent of their influence is approaching a shocking proportion. It is as high as 80% according to one major investing firm. This means that so much of stock trading is now in the hands of automated buyers and sellers that the market is increasingly sensitive to headlines and more prone to sharp price swings, many notable investors believe. So you have information that comes out that is simply a rumor. Unconfirmed source reports that, you've heard this so many times before, particularly with the trade issues going on in between the United States and China, and the market rockets higher 200 points. And then it happens to avoid the bad news, that's official news, because they are all programmed to trade in a certain direction. But suddenly that will flip, and we're gonna have a big problem because the trading is going to be halted consistently over and over and over again and people will lose confidence very rapidly. Jeffrey Gundlach has taken a shot at passive investing saying it is causing widespread problems in global stock markets. He called it a hurting behavior. Everybody is rushing to the exits, okay? You have this door and everybody is crowding in, but of course this is too big. This is what happens when you go to a sporting event, when you go into traffic, there's always these bottlenecks that occur. Unfortunately, your money is stuck on the other side and that becomes a very big problem and that's why things fall further and faster, people overreact, and then you always have it going overboard. I'm not at all a fan of passive investing. In fact, I think passive investing has reached mania status as we went into the peak of the global stock market. This was back in December, and he's just trying to stress the importance of knowing what you're getting yourself into. This is the chart that was associated with that. You could see the 12 month rolling active flows, giving you an idea comparing passive, which is $39 billion year to date, and then active minus $90 billion. People do not want to get into these funds. They're not interested in them. You could see that hedge funds today, more are closing down than are opening up. And instead, people are going into simply buying passive funds instead. That's where the money is moving. Moving. But again, the biggest issue is liquidity, and that is a very big concern, not when things are going up, but when things are going down. All right, here we go. I want to talk about flash crashes because this is so important to understand when we're talking about high frequency trading, computer algorithms, and all this business. Back in January 2019, Australian dollar left bloody after computer driven crash. Computers are trading the market. Computers are making mistakes. The only trouble is that this happens so rapidly, human beings can't react to save it. The Australian dollar was picking up the pieces on Thursday after a torrent of automated selling against the yen sent in plunging to multi-year lows on a host of major currencies. The Aussie suffered some of the largest intraday falls in its history amid a drought of liquidity and a cascade of computerized sales. This is exactly what I'm talking about it and it already happened in this limited scenario. So of course it can happen on a wide scale. Of course this can really re escalate to a point in which we have never seen before. There is no telling what's going to happen and that's part of the trouble. That's all for this video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like, you're supporting me. It's just one button. Please click that. You're helping me out. If you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have everything you need. All the details are in the link. When you go over to Amazon, it allows you to actually flip through the pages of the books to see if you like them. If you want the audiobook, that's available at themoneygps.com. JP Morgan is back in the game of creating synthetic CDOs, the worst garbage possible. You have to watch this video, click on it, and I will see you there.